As Malaysia implements movement restriction order, the volunteers continue to make protective gowns for medical personnel. Let's take a look. As the pandemic becomes more serious again, nine areas in Malaysia, including Penang, are implementing movement restriction orders once more. Now I'm transporting the unfinished protective gowns to Sister Kim Tian. During the movement restriction period, city volunteer Kang Ko Pen, who is in charge of transporting protective gowns in the Bontabo, is still traveling on the road to help safeguard the medical personnel. My job is to transport the items. Due to the third rise of the pandemic, we cannot travel across state. This is Nibong Tebao. I just delivered the items here. The master has said that we should be happy to do and willing to bear. I hope the pandemic will be over soon. 65-year-old city volunteer Chen Kim Tian uses the sewing machine agilely. It is hard to tell that she has suffered a stroke before. As I step on the machine pedal, my feet will become numb occasionally. It does not take a long time to make a protective gown. It takes half an hour. These protective gowns are for doctors who save patients. We are very blessed that Shi Ji has given us the opportunity to help out. We are very grateful. May the pandemic be over soon. May all the people in the world be safe. As the frontline medical personnel battle against COVID-19, city volunteers are doing what they can to protect the medical staff, hoping that the pandemic ends soon.